So we are right by 72 and what we're seeing is rain, but we're also seeing that ice. I can show you the sign here and you can see the icicles collecting. I could pull one off right here. You see them there. Now also in the grass, the ice is collecting. If you kick it up here, you can also see it there. Now want to point our direction over here to that big tree over there because about 15 minutes before we were live to you here in Lebanon, a big branch came down. You, you could hear that noise and that's likely because of the ice that was in the trees. Uh, throughout the morning, we have seen PennDOT crews around uh, all the areas. We were in Cumberland County earlier. We're in Lebanon County now. We've seen those crews. Uh, traffic still out and moving, uh, but again, we're seeing that rain and we're also seeing the ice collecting as well. We're live in Lebanon County. Kate Merriman, WGAL News 8. And this is 49th Street in Camp Hill, Cumberland County. And as you can see, the trees are covered with ice and the road is just wet. And this was Derry Street in Harrisburg this morning. There was some slush on the road and some parked cars were covered with ice. Again, some icicles hanging there. Our live storm team coverage continues now in Lancaster County with News 8's Ann Shannon, who's been checking road conditions all morning and has an update. Well, good afternoon to you. There's good news here for motorists in Lancaster County. We're on Route 30 in East Lampeter Township, and as you can see, roadways here are just wet. The rain is continuing to come down in this area. PennDOT pre-treated these roads, and right now, as I said, we are only seeing wet roadways, a couple of slick spots in some of the lower-lying areas. But good news, there were a few accidents this morning across the Susquehanna Valley, but nothing too significant. Now, earlier today, man on Township Police were out on Creek Road near Oregon Dairy. This tree limb covered in a light coating of ice came crashing down on the roadway. Crews were able to clean it up rather quickly, but officers were staying in place with their lights on, encouraging drivers to slow down. Now, PennDOT crews are still out across the Susquehanna Valley. Today, they had more than 300 trucks covering the area. The PennDOT shed right over my shoulder. We haven't seen any crews out and about at this hour, but from what we understand across Lancaster County, things are looking very good so far this afternoon. Do be careful, though, if you said are going to head out yet today. In Lancaster County, Ann Shannon, WGAL News 8.